Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Fox at 530. The Minneapolis Convention Center will be buzzing tomorrow. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin is teaming up with Michelle Bachman, and they are holding a free rally. Fox fan Jeff Goldberg is live at the Capitol. And Jeff, is it fair to say that these two are among the most popular people in the GOP right now? I just dubbed them Bachman Palin Overdrive. It was a good one, Robin. We've heard that a few times before, and, and overdrive is an appropriate phrase there because Sarah Palin obviously is hugely popular, drawing huge crowds wherever she goes. Republican candidates across the country would all love for her to come stump for them. Michelle Bachman also gaining in popularity a great deal, and she is also in high demand for Republican speaking engagements nationwide. Democrats do say that they both do have style, but not much else. I did reserve tickets. Like diehard fans getting ready for opening day. Four, please. Supporters of Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman can't wait for their big game. Oh, I think it's going to be very energetic uh, and fun. Well, I think it says that there's a change in the air. Congresswoman Bachman thinks Wednesday's rally with Palin, part of Bachman's re-election campaign, will serve as a loud call for a new direction in Washington. The country has been pulled lurching to the left. Now that we've gone too far right, I think what people want is common sense conservatism. That's what I talk about. According to the Republican Party of Minnesota, the Minneapolis Convention Center has been adjusting plans for the event all week as the number of those expected to attend has grown from just a few thousand to more than 9,000. It's off the charts. I've never seen anything quite like this. Democrats are saying much the same thing about the Palin-Bachman phenomenon. It's like a, a cult of personality. But for very um, different reasons. There's, there's a lack of substance. I mean, I think there's, you know, an extreme ideology. Donna Cassett is the associate chair of the DFL party. She believes come November, State well, Senator Terrell Clark will have the support case, and money to wrong. defeat Bachman. And clearly, she's putting her own personal agenda uh, above serving the folks in the sixth. So I think there is a vulnerability because there's a record now. I think this will be a very tough race. I think Bachman says she's ready for the fight. And those Democrats across the country are ready to. I think they want to silence my voice and make sure that I'm defeated this November. Governor Tim Pawlenty and Sean Hannity will also be on hand for tomorrow's rally. So it's going to be certainly a lively event. That rally too, it is free, but tomorrow evening, a private fundraiser headlined by Sarah Palin for Michelle Bachman in downtown Minneapolis. Tickets starting at $500 and going much higher. Meanwhile, Terrell Clark, the Democrat, is, has announced today she has raised to date $1.1 million in her effort to try and defeat Michelle Bachman in November. Live at the Capitol, Jeff Goldberg, Fox 9 News.